Here I have my archive with ProMTF. I'll open it, double click on the installer, click run, and follow the wizard. Click next, accept the agreement, next. Choose the MT4 platform where you want to install this one, click next, next, next. Uncheck this one and click on finish. I'll go ahead and open my MT4 platform. Here I have my MT4 platform. I have two options, either use templates or apply it directly to my chart. I'll go ahead and use templates. Click here and pro MTF dark background. Make sure your chart shift is enabled. If it's disabled, these buttons could appear above the candles. So better enable it. If you want to move it left or right, just double click here on top. There is a chart shift button, small button. Click and drag and drop to the left or right. Or use a light background template. Very simple to use as well. Now, if you have a blank chart, like I have in here, go on the left under the indicators and click on Pro MTF. Drag and drop to the chart or just double click. If you are testing it in trial, don't place anything here in email or order ID. Just make sure in common tab you have allow DLL import and click OK. Here you have a Pro MTF working fine. If you zoom out, it will zoom out as well. If you zoom in, it will zoom in as well. Very flexible. Click any of the buttons, it works very nice. Historical line, so you can check what happened at one moment of time in past. For example, here it looks to be a turning point and what happened on M15, M30, H1 and daily. Very easy to analyze everything like. Especially if you had some news, you can check how it performed on different time frame. Now, if you want to change settings, right click in here, Pro MTF properties, you can change the number of charts, the time frame, which pair to display here. For example, you want to see on the first one Euro JPI, and you want only one MA, and you want it to be smoothed. That's it. Click OK. And here you go. Here you have a Euro JPI. This is the chart from Euro JPI, the 15 minute chart. You can zoom in and see what happens there, real time. Now, if you want to apply another indicator here, again, double click or drag and drop. Make sure you change the unique ID to number two. This is very important. Otherwise, you'll have some errors. Click OK. And here you go. You have another indicator apply to chart. If you click on H line, you will see historical line here. Double click in the middle of it and move anywhere you need. Okay, very easy to use. Now, if you want to apply more and more charts, you can do that. For example, I'll show you how I applied multiple indicators to check what happens on a daily time frame on multiple pairs. Here you go. I have here 20 pairs on the same chart. I just made the main chart very small because I don't really need that one and placed on H1 or even daily doesn't really matter, but better to be at the same time frame as you have in here. And as you can see, I have different currency pairs here, starting from Euro dollar where it doesn't say anything and GBP USD, OZ dollar, the JPI pairs here on the second row and so on. Basically, this is indicator is very handy and I can see where the price is compared to moving averages. For example, here on USD CAD, New Zealand JPI. Thank you for watching and have a nice one.